right when i'm talking about calcium hydroxide the biggest difference between calcium hydroxide and mta is there is no coagulative necrosis associated with mta whereas coagulative necrosis can be seen associated with calcium hydroxide as a response whenever it is placed on the pulp so calcium hydroxide powder which is going to contain tricalcium silicate dicalcium silicate tetracalcium aluminate okay and in the presence of water or blood that is one of the biggest advantages again even in the presence of blood in the periapical areas and everything mta can set mta always requires water for its setting so that is process is called as hydration again mta what i'm going to do i'm going to fill with mta in epoxification and everything i'm going to keep one i'm going to keep cotton pellets filled with droplets of water and i'm going to ask the patient to come after the next day to remove those cotton pellets because it requires hydration for its setting so hydration reaction is very very important in mta so with calcium silica it is going to form calcium silico hydrogel hydrogel after 3 to 4 hours that is around like 165 plus 165 minutes plus this porous gel initially it solidifies into a hard crystalline structure which is becoming so tough and normal ca coh that is present it increases the ph because we have already know the calcium hydroxide normal calcium hydroxide ph is only 11 to 12 the same calcium hydroxide present in mta is going to in increase the initial ph 10.4 to final ph of 12.4 or 12.5 the other important inict repeat that you have to make a notice the setting expansion of the gray mta in the presence of water is 1.02 percentage